What's up duelers, it's Nerp here, and the July season for Ranked is upon us. So, what a better way to start off the month? By opening 30 spirit orbs. And let's see this first pack. This is the bare minimum pack you can get, the worst kind of pack where you have 4 commons and 1 rare. That's the worst kind of pack because you're guaranteed, it says, to get at least 1 rare. If the rest of them are commons, that's pretty bad. So, uh... I do want to play like more decks for you guys and it would take a very long time to get cards like the legendary Bissian cards. Here's an epic sunset paragon. It's good to get. And instead of going through the grind, I found uh, an old gift card I had actually. Two epics in this pack, not bad, but I want to find some legendaries. I found an old gift card I had which I just spent the rest of the money on it, which wasn't that much, I think it was like $40 or so, and I was able to get myself about 20, I think I bought 25 packs, and I just bought 5 with some gold I had, um, bare minimum pack as well, so, so far opened, what, 5 packs, and no legendary so far, which is not so good, uh, just a epic in this pack, I guess it's fine because it has an epic, um, and there are new cards for the July, I have actually one of each of the new cards at least already because my after the season you get rewards for S rank gold, silver, bronze, whatever you placed in that month and I was S rank so I actually got a bunch of rewards and here we got a legendary nether summoning, this is a very good legendary, um, I've seen some interesting decks that use it, some Bissian decks so I'm glad I got that. Uh, yeah my S rank reward, uh, so for getting S rank you get the new legendary of the month which was uh, which is Envy Bear, the cards named after the streamers. Kind of uh, regret taking. Here's an epic, so that's okay, pack. I kind of regret taking off like this whole year not playing Duelist because I can only think uh, the player base was much smaller way back last year. And I think I could have uh, had much more of a presence now. Um, in the community if I never stopped playing. But well, that was a little bit of an uphill battle for me to uh, gain duelist player base to watch my videos, but that's okay I guess. So we're not getting that lucky here. Supposedly the drop rate for legendaries is 1 in 4 packs and we've only gotten 1 legendary so far and we've opened what, 10 packs already? 11 packs? gotten a few epics but not too good so far yeah I have no problem spending money on this game right now because I've I've been sinking so many hours into it like I feels worth it to me and the devs deserve uh, the money from the players playing the game so much here's another legendary perfect not a great legendary but it's always good to legend legendaries you can only disenchant them so hopefully I can get useful legendaries so I don't have to pay for like the really expensive legendaries. Another legendary, not very useful right now unless like golems are stronger. But still it's good to get them. So we've gotten two legendary packs in a row. Things are turning around for us. And this pack, a third, three straight legendary packs. Okay, things are really turning around. Not, again, not extremely useful cards, but they're still good to have. You can always disenchant them and get a lot of spirit which I'm trying to do because I want to make competitive decks in each fashion wow is that four straight packs with a legendary okay I'm getting lucky now guys I'm getting really lucky Osirix flying dying wish equipped two random artifacts from deck another one that probably not going to get played but still legendary can we get five in a row that would be pretty uh, amazing nah okay well our run was good so, yeah, I also have uh, some more gold. Oh, two epics in this pack. I have a little bit more gold, but I think 30 was a very round number of packs to open. And I'm going to do the same thing I did in my last pack opening video where I opened 25 packs. Here's an epic card. Uh, where I do a little analysis, analysis at the end of the uh, cards I got. Another legendary, yes, Silithar Elder. That is a useful card for uh, for Magmar decks, so I am very glad I got that. I'm not going to be disenchanting that. Uh, yes, yeah, so, good. 
I'm pretty pleased with what we got so far. Probably around what five legendaries, maybe six legendaries. Uh, nothing special here except Hammond Bleed Seeker. So in 30 packs, 30 divided by four is seven and a half, right? Uh, so I should have seven and a half legendaries from all this. Did that math, right? <laughs> 30 packs divided by 4. Yep, 7 and a half. Mm. Getting a little on with the recent packs. I think I have 6 legendaries so far, so we're about on par with where we should be. There's a Epic, the Scientist. Another. This is one of the new cards. Forgetting Esther can give you one of. I uh, gave me one of each of the new cards. So now I have 2 the Scientist, and I think I have definitely uh, maybe even more than 3 Shira Puppy Dragons. Um, they definitely look like pretty good cards. Maybe not the Envy Bear. The Envy Bear, which is the legendary, doesn't seem like that strong of a card. But this is good. Two, uh, two epics. The Grincher card I might consider uh, trying out because you can draw artifacts with that that cost less. It already pays for itself when it dies. Or already pays herself when it comes into play. Okay, running out of orbs here to get my seven or eight legendaries. Okay, another epic. The chassis of Mechazor. On to our last few orbs. Legendary, yes. And an epic in the in the in the uh, pack. Another Murkblood Devourer, so I have a couple of those now. Would love to get a special revenant or Vorpal Reaper. I think I have one Vorpal Reaper and nothing else. And here's another legendary Mask of Shadows, who turned on against Backstab 4. Wow. Okay, not the legendaries I'm searching for, but they're still good. So now that's, I think that's 8 legendaries so far. And the last orb. Okay. So it looks like we got actually exactly how many legendaries we should have. And I'm going to go ahead and tally up all the things, and I will get back to you shortly. The numbers are in. So I opened 30 spirit orbs for a total of 150 cards drawn. 92 of those were commons, 33 of those were rares, 17 epics, and 8 legendaries. And the percent of the total there would be 61.3% for commons, 22% for rares, 11 11.3% 11 of them were epics, and 5.3% of them were legendaries, which is eerily similar to the percentages I got from opening 25 packs in my last pack opening video on my channel. Uh, I think it's like almost the same thing except for um, a little bit l fewer legendaries and a tiny bit more epics. So that makes me uh, believe that the actual drop rates for the packs uh, that I guess only counterplay really knows are kind of close to this um, probably around 5% for legendaries 22% for rares, 60% for commons and uh, 11 to 12% for for epics so I guess I'm happy with that because I got a little more legendaries and um, it is the end of the month uh, so I'll be getting back to the swing of things with ranked and stuff uh, they did uh, with the next month, it pushed back the 12th month here, so you can't see that anymore on my profile, which it was S rank, so, oh well. It does at least show still here. It says I have two S ranks, and clearly over here it only shows one, so it had to be from July or earlier, from 2015. And we did start at 11 here. Um, I went ahead and dismissed all the new and looked at these cards a second ago. And I did earn the Sun Sister for for Lionar, so I guess opening all those packs got me uh, the Sun Sister Stero. So now I have two of the Seven Sisters, and now I have enough cards to make some more decks, hopefully. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on dueling, duelists.